In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple racing game in Kodu Game Lab. So we start off by opening up um, Kodu and we click on New World. Okay, and a new world opens up and we want to get rid of the existing terrain. So a way w in which we can do this is um, just um, right click um, well, what we could do is slightly make it bigger by clicking on the right arrows and then um, right arrows again until we got this size and then right click and the terrain has gone. Now we click on the terrain tool again and then we want to maybe select the square tool and then um, Go. We just click on that tool. Whoops. Go, and then um, we can make it slightly smaller. So I think that's probably about an appropriate size for a track, or maybe slightly smaller by left clicking. And then we create our simple track that will um, just basically go up, round to the right, um, and I'm holding down the left um, key on the mouse or the left button should I say and then we have our simple track now not an exciting track but fairly straightforward and I'm sure that some of you can think of more imagin imaginative tracks than this now we need to add our rover so we click on the object tool and select the rover and just place our rover and this is the one that we will be using so let's choose a color for this rover and I right click on the rover because it's um, fairly big for the track size so we want to change the size of the rover maybe about half the size might be good and then um, we come out of here and we just want to basically program this rover to move around when we select keys, um, the arrow keys. So when we select the maybe the arrow keys then we want the rover to move. Very simple instruction. We could also say that we want to get it to move quickly perhaps and then we press the escape key and when we play this game we have a very simple um, rover that moves around the track. Now what you can do is adjust the rover's speed and acceleration. So you can do this if we right click on the rover and click on change settings and we can change its speed, its turning speed and its acceleration. There we go. Right now we need another rover to race against. Before we do that we want to add a path for this second rover to um, so that uh, well to move around the track so we I select the path tool left click um, let's get rid of that so let's get rid of this and um, get rid of this one and let's start again so we click on the path tool again I left click on the rope over to go to the end okay so I'm just left clicking on points and that is the path the actual rover will be taking the second rover so we're going to add our second rover in and again that is slightly big so we can change its size. Again, about half the size might be good. Um, come out of here, and we want to get. You can choose a different colour for this rover. So let's just say it will be blue. Move it back a bit because we don't want it to cheat. Right click, and we can change the settings of this as well. So we can change the speed the turning speed and the acceleration. There we go. 
Okay, so come out of here, and then we want to program this rover to follow the path. So we can leave when blank, and we just go straight to do, and we say move. And again, click on the plus sign on the path, and we can say we want it to go quickly. Um, and then we come out of here. Again, the rover always the second rover wants to cheat, and then we play our game. So we click on the play button. Whoops, he's gone ahead. Okay, um, this rover's stuck. Go, it can't find its way around. And there you go, I've quite simply won this race. The reason why that rover is stuck in that position is because of the path I've set it. But you could always go back and modify the path. And um, that is a simple game in um, Kodu Game Lab. Enjoy, and thank you for watching.